Hi, I'm Jonathan Downey, CEO of Airware, and I have with me today Sue Siegel and Alex Tepper. Sue is the CEO of GE Ventures and Healthy Imagination. She's been recognized as one of the 100 most influential women in Silicon Valley. And Alex Tepper is a managing director at GE Ventures, where he works with different GE business units to identify, invest in, and bring to market revolutionary products across GE businesses. Welcome, Sue and Alex. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Good to be here. The commercial drone space is a relatively new pursuit for GE. What drew you to it and why now? It is a relatively new area for us to be investing in and pursuing, but at the same time, we're always so passionate about so, uh, solving for the evolution of the services industry for a lot of our customers. So in our mind, this is a, a, a new technology, new business models, et cetera, that can help um, revolutionize the way that we do services for our customers. And Sue, what is GE's approach to venture investing? We tend to look at innovation across different segment areas. And the four thematic themes that we're investing in right now are around the world of health, the world of energy, the world of the industrial internet, and the world of advanced manufacturing, where in fact the drone space comes to play. Um, when you think about those four areas, they really are around the various themes that we, and, and platforms that we use at, at, at GE. Health imagination, eco imagination, the industrial internet, and advanced manufacturing. And what is it about some of these ecosystems and markets that uh, really attracts GE? Anything that's evolving, very, very new, that in fact is really gonna help our customers in terms of productivity, are things that are very attractive to us. The drone space, the UAV space, if you'd like, is something that we fundamentally believe is going to revolutionize productivity overall. Mm -hmm. And so when we see a new ecosystem like this evolving, we stay very close to it. GE made a recent investment in Airware. Yay! Thank you very yes. much. Yeah. <laughs> and so Thank what was you. it about Airware that was well aligned with your investment strategy? One, as I mentioned before, we're really interested in evolving the field services business within GE. Mm -hmm. And Airware and commercial UAVs fit very nicely in that space. Secondly, as Sue was saying, we like to catalyze ecosystems. We know that this space, the commercial UAV space, is a very vibrant and nascent ecosystem. We believe Airware is going to be a core uh, company, technology, and business model that sits in the middle of that ecosystem. It's a platform, really. Right. That's right, a platform. We love to invest in platforms. We believe that ecosystem is currently um, fragmented through a variety of different applications and use cases. And then Airware can geographies sort of- Geographies too. And geographies as well. And Airware can potentially serve as the glue that kind of connects the hardware side of commercial UAVs with the vertically oriented software solutions. Do you expect that GE is going to be operating commercial drones? And if so, when are we going to see that? <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting question. So we, I'll answer it in the following way. Um, we're extremely passionate about applying commercial UAVs to our field services groups. A variety of different use cases which have come up, our customers are really interested, our businesses are really interested. Whether we operate them ourselves, whether we manufacture airframes, um, it's possible, albeit um, unlikely that, for example, we would manufacture airframes. For us, we're big believers in that ecosystem. There could be a bunch of different players who specialize in different elements that be, can be combined into a great solution. Let me just keep on going on that particular point, and that is know that we fundamentally believe that we're gonna be out there commercially with these solutions. And they won't be standalone solutions, right? It all depends on the use case, and hence the reason why Airware to us was so we're attractive. We're big believers in that, yeah. Right, and so creating that kind of possibilities and those kind of solutions for our customers is, is absolutely imperative. And you know, we're, we're hoping it'll be sooner than later. Stay tuned. What are some of the applications that GE is most interested in seeing commercial drones deployed for? We try to address customer needs that fall into the category of sort of dull, dirty, dangerous, and distant. Mm. Good alliteration. <laughs> Lots of Ds. Four or five Ds. Yeah. 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 Quadruple Ds. <laughs> uh, we should trademark that. I know. That was good. That was good. Um, 
So it, for our, we have a variety of different use cases that span from our power utilities to transportation to oil and gas to wind turbines. There are a variety of different use cases that we're really, really passionate about. But for us, there are a whole bunch of different processes in the field services arena that are very manual, um, very inefficient, and in a lot of cases, dangerous. And so for us, we work sort of backwards. We start with our customers, figure out where their needs are, where their inefficient processes that we think this technology could address, but it's always rooted in the, the customer need. And, and think about this, places where there are huge spans of space, and we certainly address a number of those in all of the industries and places that uh, Alex talked about, you could just imagine how incredibly efficient and effective drones could be. I think we have very similar thoughts. I often like to say that anything that's being measured today from the ground where that measurement is personnel intensive or costly or infrastructure intensive or dangerous is a great application for measuring that from the air with a commercial drone instead. Yeah, it's, we, we think of drones as flying sensors. So for us, in any situation where um, it's an inefficient process. It's something that can possibly be addressed through commercial UAVs. Yeah, I look forward to the day when the idea that somebody would grab a ladder to do an inspection of the rooftop seems crazy because why totally. would you not just get a drone to do that? I'll give you a good example with wind turbines. Right now when something goes wrong on a wind turbine, someone literally harnesses themselves in, ratchets themselves up on a, on a rope and goes 600 feet in the air to inspect it. We're going to look back on that and we're going to say, God, I can't believe we did it. So dangerous, so inefficient. Why wouldn't we just send a, a, a drone up to do that? And you might imagine if you're doing it faster that you might be able to do it more often. And more data typically will give you better data. Do you plan to manufacture and or sell your own drones or will you be buying drones from other manufacturers? Partnering is probably the absolutely best solution because we will bring to bear what we know in terms of proprietary use cases and really partner up with those that can bring to bear the technologies like yourself. We also believe there's not going to be any um, one drone company, right? There needs to be a lot of different drone companies and an ecosystem of hardware and software um, developers to address all of these applications. But Airware is providing the platform, right? I, we are, <laughs> yeah. And that we're counting on in terms of the way you will, in fact, be able to bring these things together in terms of all the different applications and use cases. And then one of the things that we can help with as well, we have incredible technologies in a variety of different areas. You mentioned aviation systems, but sensors, controls, materials. In the end, part of what we do when we partner with um, technology startups is we help infuse some of that technology into the, into the startups as well. So we can do co-development on, on a variety of different use cases and technologies. How does GE Ventures help accelerate the development and growth of some of your portfolio companies? We're all about being able to bring smart scale to the equation. The partnership that we will bring to any one of our startups, our partners, is really around co-development or distribution in internationally, or being able to bring the policy aspects that we potentially could bring to bear. And there is an inherent uh, belief that by partnering together and creating the convening power that GE can bring to the table, you can bring the right voices together to start putting into place really safe regulations to, to, to allow this ecosystem to really flourish. What's going to really propel it is when the first use case, everybody sees it and goes, aha. <laughs> and that really just needs to take hold. And, you know, I suspect we're closer than one thinks. We think we've got a number of use cases where, in fact, people will see it as absolutely very, very useful. Ten years from now, big picture, how do you envision the commercial drone landscape? It's just part of the fabric of a number of different industries. It is one of the tool sets that becomes standard as people think about what do I deploy in terms of my service solutions? How will I utilize that in terms of um, making any solution more productive or, or, or faster? or even more effective in terms of measurement and or delivery of services. From where it looks today, one thinks, well, it's got a long way to go. But frankly, 10 years is a very long time. Look how fast it's moving right now. I think we're going to, 10 years from now, I think we focus on industrial services because that's what, we're, um, what kind of company we are. I think when you look at that, I think it's going to dramatically change the way that servicing is done in the future. 
I think we're going to look back on it sort of the way we look at GPS right now versus the old days when you would pull out a paper map and it would be highly manual. In the end, I think services, drones and associated technologies are going to be, so, just as you said, it's so much the fabric of the way services is, is done that we're going to look back on the way we do services now, highly manual, inefficient, costly, and we're going to say, God, I can't believe we did services that way before. Well, thank you, Sue and Alex, so much for joining us here today. Thank you. Our pleasure. And we're looking forward to really getting airware out there.